Hi, this is Rachel, and we're going to look at factorising. So we have two expressions here that we are being asked to factorise fully. So I'm going to start with this one on the left. Now, when we have something that looks like this, and by like this, I mean not a quadratic. So this one on the right has an x squared that makes it a quadratic. quadratic equation. So when we don't have that quadratic, it's easier to factorise like this. So the first thing we do is we look at both of our numbers and we try and find the highest common factor of both of these numbers. So I want the highest common factor of 6 and 3. So please do go have a look at my highest common factor videos if you can't remember. But the way we do it is we find the factors of both of these numbers. So the factors of 3 are 1 and 3. And the factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3 and 6. My highest common factor is the highest number in both of those lists, which is 3. So 3 is my highest common factor. And that is important. I'm going to put a box around that because I'm going to use that in my answer. However, before I do, I'm going to take both of these numbers and divide them by the highest common factor. So I'm going to do 6 divided by 3, which is 2. And 3 divided by 3, which is 1. So now I'm going to construct my answer from this. So I'm going to, when I factorise, I'm putting brackets in. It's the opposite of multiplying out, essentially. So I'm going to give myself a pair of brackets. There we go. My highest common factor goes outside. And inside goes these numbers. Now the reason I did these divisions was I did 6 divided by 3. Well, technically, it's actually 6x divided by 3, which gives me 2x. So I've divided that 6x by 3, because I've taken that out to give me 2x. And then I've done 3 divided by 3 to give me 1. So I have essentially divided that whole expression by the highest common factor, and the answer is in the bracket. Now, I can check, if I want to, that this is correct by multiplying out. So, I can do 3 times 2x, which is 6x, and 3 times 1, which is 3, and that gives me 6x plus 3, which is what I started with. So, my check is correct. So I know this here is my answer, my factorised answer. Now this is fully factorised and by using the highest common factor I'm guaranteeing it's fully factorised. If I just used any factor it would still be factorised but not factorised fully. So in order to factorise fully I need to use the highest common factor. That's a lot of Fs. Okay, let's have a look at our quadratic equation here. So our quadratic equation is in this format where we've got an x squared, an x, and then a number with no x's. So, this we go about slightly differently because these three things aren't going to have highest common factors, mainly because this first uh, term has x's, only x's, and the last term has no x's, so there's no common factor. Instead, we use a little trick. And what we say is we look for two numbers that multiply to give us this end number, and add to give us the middle. So, two numbers that multiply to give us 20 and add to give us 9. So let's have a think about numbers that multiply to give us 20. So 1 times 20. Does 1 
add 20 give us nine? No. Okay, so it's not that. So we're looking for a pair of numbers essentially. Uh, two times 10. So two times 10 is 20. Two times 10 is not, uh, sorry, two add 10 is not nine. So it's not that one either. Can I multiply anything by three to give me 20? No, I can't. How about four? So I've got four times five. Four times five is 20. How about four add five? Aha, uh -huh. four add five is nine. So that's my pair. So four times five is 20. Four add five is nine. So I've now got my pair of numbers. And what I do with those is again, I can set up some brackets and with quadratics, I will have two lots of brackets. Here we go, so I've got two lots of brackets and the format looks a bit like this. So in my first bracket, I've got an X and I put one of these numbers in, it doesn't matter which. So I've got my X plus four, because it's a positive four. And in my second bracket, I've got an X plus five. So I'm just filling in those numbers. It'll always be a pair of brackets with two X's in, or at least an X in each. And again, I can check this. So I'm going to underline that because I'm fairly sure that's the answer, but I'll check it. So let's use the box method this time. There we go. So x times x is x squared. x times four is four x. x times five is five x. Five times four is 20, which gives me x squared plus five x plus four x plus 20, which I can simplify to that, which is the original thing I started with. So stick, check is correct. And it's always worth checking these because you can make silly mistakes extremely easily. And so that is how we factorize simple expressions and also quadratic equations.